the cheat for me again, cheat for me, cheat for me, cheat for me. You mean cheat for you, cheat? It's a, it's a, it was a cheating sensation. They're going to end all aggression towards us. But you have to send five gynies. Who you will send? Well, I have a lot of family members that I would send, including my child for children, father. We are on road, we are on road. Guyanese man, them are on road. Jamaican man, them are on road. Caribbean bad man, them are on road. What's up, my good people? Welcome to another episode of Kabisa Street Confession on Guyana's Uncut. I'm Entertainer Marlon and I'm your presenter for this week. A quick reminder, this show is exclusively sponsored by Price King Distributor under the umbrella of Jay's group of companies. They are the only distributor for Kabisa in Guyana. Now, if this is the first time here, this is the darkest, darkest show that ever produced right here in Guyana. And you will soon find out why. We on the sea walls and we are about to find out from our people, you know what is going on with Venezuela and I want to ask my people, if Venezuela decide to stop all aggression against Guyana, but you have to send five persons who you will choose. So we're going to ask a few people and comment section, don't be shy, you can comment as well. All right, so let's go. Right, so we out here hanging with Melissa. Yes, Melissa, we hanging with Melissa. Melissa, before I ask you these few questions, I want you to try this Kabisa. This is the vitamin. I want you to try it and I want you to let the public know what you think about it. Okay. Well, it's passion, it's flavorful. And I've had a lot of Kabisa before, but it's a different flavor. It's really nice. Passion. Yes, but I'm really scary about it. So you've never had you never had this one before? No, I never had this. There's gotta be a new one. That means that means you're going to the store yes, and get that. I'm gonna get it. Yes, the passion is really flavorful. You taste in the passion, really smooth. Everything is okay. I definitely love it as well. Yes. You know? Can I, I have another sip? Yeah, take another sip. I had but like three of it already, so it's okay. really good. I love passion fruit by the way. I love it. I wanna, it's actually one of my favorite fruits. Passion fruit? Yes, it's actually one of my favorite fruits. So you like passion? It's unique, yes. You're a passionate and I, and girl. I have a lot of passion, so I gotta let loose. I like that. One of that you need. Cabisa is one of that. You don't need ecstasy, you don't need Mali. You just need a tin of cabisa. A tin of cabisa, yes, and you're good to yes, go. Yes, <laughs> if Venezuela, you know the, the whole Venezuela saga. If Venezuela today said to us that they're going to end all aggression towards us. But you have to send five Guyanese. Who you will send? Well, I have a lot of family members that I would send, including my child for children, father. I would put him as number one. I have a couple family members that I really want to get rid of. Hi! <laughs> because he has some family, you know. You really can't deal with them, no matter how you try. So if it was by my choice, I would have sent five of my family members. Five of your family members, including your child father? Yes, yeah, six. Stop it. Just six. Get an extra one. Yes, I give them an extra. They're you get them an extra one. Five, I give them six. You give them six. Yes. My goodness. I, <laughs> I'm lost for words. Why you will send all six of them? Because I want to give them extra so that when all this is finished, they could say, well, you know, the heart could feel pleased. They got an extra one, they don't know what to do with it. Him or her, they don't know. You don't care if they come back? No. <laughs> it's safe and it's really going to take them over there. Probably they have a better attitude. The world is going to end tonight. You stuck with one choice. You either have a delicious meal or sex. Which one you'll choose and why? Sex. I want to die happy. I want to die happy because where I'm going, I don't have any more sex. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta take it now. Oh, you know, oh, you know, you have no other, no other sex when you go to no, no more sex. Afterlife, they didn't teach me that, baby. They never they teach you sex, sex after. food, and I'm choosing sex because I want to die happy. I just, I'm certain. You're Even certain. If there is. 
I still want to enjoy mine. I don't know what that sex is going to feel like. All right, then. So you're making sure yes, you I die happy. Do. Yes, I want to die happy. At least when you go to wherever you're going, whether yes. it's hell or heaven, yes. you're, 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 you're going... Because sometimes the man could come and change everything. <laughs> Food ain't going to come and change nothing. <laughs> and plus, you take, I, plus you take a Kobisa before. You know, a passion. You guys really need to try it. This is so amazing. This is lovely. The passion is so flavorful. To me, it's actually the best cabisa. I don't want to say it out loud, but this is actually the best I'm trying. I got one more question I want to ask you. What is the most embarrassing sex you've ever had? Can I say it out loud? No most embarrassing sex I've had? It's like, why you put it in your mouth? That's embarrassing for me. I don't know about other people. Put one in your mouth. That, that's that's a word. That's a word for me. Pen penis. Penis. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing. Okay. Yes. Yeah, same thing. Cock penis. Lowly. <laughs> so, so you're saying for the first time that was the first time you 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 did it. Yes, and it was kind of embarrassing because I never did it. You never did it before. Yes. But after. That embarrassing yeah, moment, yeah, you're grooving. Yeah. I really enjoying the vibes right now. We don't want to see was are we vibing? Listen, before we do this interview, I want you to try this kabisa. Tell me what you think about it. Is it vitamin kabisa? There's the one that's making healthier, and there's the one that is making the steady bias, you know, work good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So so far, rather fruity, rather fruity, R rather fruity. Yeah, but I could give it powers. I give it powers, I give it ratings. Let me give it like a, a strong 9.2 out of 10. 9.2 out of 10, 9.2 out of 10 is good. Yeah, so you yeah, can yeah. take another sip. Alright. If Venezuela decide to end all the aggression against Guyana, but you have to choose five Guyanese to send over there, mm. who you will choose? Five Guyanese? Yeah. Critics? <laughs> <laughs> Does what? Does what? <laughs> um, <laughs> Boba T? <laughs> who's Boba T now? Who's Boba T? The public know who's Boba T! <laughs> Boba T too? Um, Allison? <laughs> Allison? Allison gonna make three. Um, but then again, we gonna get a shared, we gonna get a shared custody for Allison. You gonna share custody for Allison? Share custody for Allison. Um, I think we could do without Jack Bio for a couple of morning. <laughs> Keep it, keep it, keep it for last. Yeah. Right. And number five, myself, once again, you know, Venezuelan women, you know, to cover. So you yeah. going to Venezuela as well. So it's five of y'all. I take in one for the team. I love my country. So I take in one for the country. That's good. That's patriotic. Yeah. But let me ask you a question. Why would you choose, apart from you being patriotic, why would you choose the other four? We could do without them for a couple morning. We could, we could handle them without for a couple morning. We could handle them for a couple morning. Handle them for a couple morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. Handling them for a couple of morning is not bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you're saying in a sense that they could fight them as warriors, or you just want to get rid of them for, for a couple of morning. Can okay, you know if you go? Can you know if you go over there? It, you know, I mean, they might not face with something, you know, uh, uh, tangible or good. But then again, you see. Venezuela just want the five, not for fight or anything. They just want them. They just want. Them. They just want them. <laughs> so they ain't going through hard times. They might get a little better times there, and then when they come over here, they might get a little better times here. So they get the best of both, um, best of both worlds. Best of both worlds, including myself. Just okay. for the team. Well, when it comes to the Venezuelan woman, then you're fine, yeah. Exactly. That's why I put in myself there. I take in one for the team. I got another question I want to ask you though. Yeah, shoot, shoot, buddy. If the world is going to end now, tonight, right? And you have two options. you left with two options. Either have a delicious meal or sex. Which one you will choose? Great sex. Not just sex, great sex. Not I mean, just sex, great sex. Why, why? Because I know when I fire that shot, I'll be smiling. <laughs> <laughs> and when that shot is fired, everything is happy for me. But 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 food food is a serious man. Yeah, food is good, but then I could only be enjoying the food. I wouldn't enjoy it fully because as soon as I don't eat, the world ends. And then you know I wouldn't. My belly would be full, but for a moment. But you see, when I fire a shot in the world, and I you I you you, 
Die and smile. Die and smile. You laugh. And it's good because sometimes, sometimes I is abandoned food for sex. So I could understand clearly what you said. Of course, of course, and that's why even better. The world ending. Why is I doing my patriotic duty in in um, Venezuela? Cheese. All right, guys. We are here with the one and only Josh. Josh, before we do this interview, I want you to try this kabi. So this one is the vitamin. Talk to us, Josh. Oh, this shit's actually good, yo. This shit is good. I would fuck with this. I would fuck with this. Take another sip, Josh. Take another sip. And let, 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 let's simmer down, you know what I mean? Simmer down in this nice. I love your, uh, what is this? Navel piercing. Navel piercing. Y'all give us a shot of this navel piercing. Amazing, right? All right, talk to us, Josh. What's going on? How is everything going on with you? I mean, so far, okay. Can't complain. Just busy with work and life and stuff, man. Josh, before we start this interview, I want to ask you a personal question. I see, you know I mean, a lot of things going around. You know the, 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 the sex tape thing, oh. right? I want you to tell us a little bit right now. I mean, what can I say? I want to be a porn star, so I got to feel comfortable about myself. So we got to start some way, somehow. I mean, they had, the person that leaked that video, they had did a major uh, impact to me. Like, yeah, because now I'm feeling way confident about myself. So your whole idea is to becoming a porn star I, and then yeah. bam, he just decided to yeah. leak. He so ain't know like, what good he did doing for you. Eight, so like, I'm really confident about myself. I don't feel anywhere about it, so yeah. L let me tell you something here, Josh, before I ask you these questions, like I said, right? And folks, I want you guys to listen to me now. This is Kabisa Street Confession. I want you to listen to me. I strictly for the ladies. I love the ladies non-stop because and everybody got their own preferences you understand me but i saw a photograph with you in fact a video from behind yeah from and i'm like i'm like i'm like where this venezuelan woman come from and then everybody said no it's not a venezuelan woman it's josh ha! got it ha! Guyanese. I was born in Guyana, raised in Guyana. So yeah, it's all Guyanese right here. <laughs> Josh, trust me, if I didn't get that information, right? Is a, is Josh? I did going after the back boy. I did play with her. What did he say? You know, just remember, I strictly the ladies. If Venezuela decided to end all aggression against Guyana. But only if you send five Guyanese to Venezuela, who you will choose? Let me see, five strong Guyanese men. Strong Guyanese. I like how you put the strong Guyanese strong. I, mean, I would do the dark and delicious kind of guys, because <laughs> I know we have a, you know, strong guys out there. So I can't really pinpoint the guys I would send, but I'm going to have to work on that. You can work on but that. the dark and delicious one we're going for. Dark and delicious. So you ain't got nobody, you ain't got nobody in your mind that you could call? No, somebody who you want no, to send away, that. disappear? Oh God, no. What not. about the guy, what about the guy who leaked the video? Oh no, he's a weak ass, yo. He's what a weak ass. No. We know, we know. I don't have his personal name, but you we're going with Chris. We're going with Chris. Chris. All right, Thank Chris. You. You're sending Thank Chris. You. Chris is one. Yeah. So we're going with Chris and his crew. Chris and your crew. That shit. Yeah, we're going so, to So, Chris. Chris and your crew, you're going to Venezuela. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to do that. Wow. Now, the next question I want to ask, right? If the world is ending now, yeah. like right, right now, we hear, and you stuck with one option, a delicious meal or sex, which one you will choose? I'm going to do the sex, yo. <laughs> Why you will do the sex real part? I mean, come on, it's a pleasure. I want to have a pleasure before I whack out. So a delicious meal is not a pleasure. I sure you love no, some. No, no, what, what, what delicious meal you love? I mean, I love pasta, but sex is way better, yo. Sex is way better than pasta. What was the most embarrassing moment of sex you've ever had? The guy, he had a small penis. And that wasn't the only thing, yo. He came within like two minutes. I'm like, yo, is that it? Is that really it? So, 
hold on, hold on, hold on. So you that a two minute kind of girl? Uh, nah, I wanna go for a long run. What is your long run? I mean like a 45 minutes, that's okay, that's okay. 45 minutes? Yeah, that's okay. That's but you know okay. sometimes, you know sometimes when you, especially when you meet her, you know, you, you know what I mean, and you're excited, you know what I mean, sometimes it don't really be he popped down because of some reason or the other. It's just he excited. Oh, I mean, what can I say? 45 minutes is good. I don't want to exhaust my body because there's always wrong two, wrong three. You know. <laughs> so, uh, so you don't like the the, the, the small uh, uh, penis? No, no, it doesn't really do much, yo. I want to feel things in me. <laughs> I was doing an uh, interview earlier, and someone told me, right? The same Venezuelan question where they had to send five persons. And someone called you. Someone called you. Now, if you go to the border, you go to Venezuela. I mean, persons, people be telling me that, yeah, they could uh, send me. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go at the border and just skin my booty hole because it's been trending. <laughs> Why not? Why not? I'm going to do it. I mean, your, your, your booty hole was trending? My booty hole was oh, trending. Your booty hole. Was trending? It was trending, yo. <laughs> Do fans would already know? If you'd like it spicy yet refreshing, try the ginger cabisa. If you need a boost of energy for your day-to-day -day activities, try the 100% energy. If you need to be the life of the party, try the 18% vodka cabisa. And if you need a boost to your metabolic activities, as well as to strengthen your immune system, try the vitamin cabisa today. Now look, why just put myself in? We got Tiffany here. Tiffany want to interview me. The same question that I'm asking you guys. So Tiffany, take the mic. Okay, so this is the segment where the interviewer become the interview. <laughs> so Marlon, like you asked earlier, if Venezuelans and the aggression that they currently have with us, but in order for them to end it, you have to send five persons. Who would those five persons be and why? Who's those five persons that I will send? Well, I will send the opposition leader, right? I will send him. I will send I will send the vice president. I will send the vice president, Mr. Jack Dio, I will send him. I will send maybe like two of my exes, you know, I will send them. I, I ain't got so much enemy, but I, I, the thing is, I don't even look at it as enemy, right? I look at it as they're patriotic. So I will go myself, you know what I mean? Fight for my country. So we got, we have the opposition leader, we got the vice president. We could send, the, we could let the president go as well. I could go too, so we being patriotic. We can go fight for Guyana. So the only reason why you're sending them is because they're patriotic? Yeah, there's no, there's no, no other reason. reason? No other reason. Final answer. We can go fight for Guyana. Okay, very interesting <laughs> answers. All right, so. All right, so everybody normally gets scared when, you know, we hear, oh, it's doomsday or those kind of things. So let's imagine that the world was ending tonight, being Monday night, uh -huh. and you were given the option to choose one out of two things. That is good food or good, great sex, I should say, great. Which would you choose and why? Well, it's easy. Sex. You know, um, everybody know that. The folks that viewing us right now know that. Sex is amazing. So, I mean, why, why do I want to go eat and, 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 well, eat myself to death? No, man. I want to go out banging. <laughs> so you'd rather go out with a big bang than, and, and starving than to be fed and no bang? Go banging. That, no, uh, sex is not starve. You know, some people, some people sometimes don't eat for hours, just waiting. The excitement full up the belly down full, they're just waiting to go there, you know? So, I will choose sex. Okay, so it seems as though sex is at the top of the list of your priorities. And so, since it is the at the top of the list, tell me, what is one of the most embarrassing sexual experiences you've had? Man, you try me out there. Um, I can take you, I can take you way back when I was like in my teenage. I was a teenager then, and they had this girl next door, really like this girl, right? I know nothing about sex, but apparently she knows everything about it. So, she would invite me over to play um, Scribble. 
So one day, she pulled me in the room, and our Andes had a hole in the Andes. So she take the boy now and put it there. It's like, yo, what are you doing? Right, because I don't scared, I look in and all. She put me in the other room, put me on the ground, to, on, the, on, the, on the floor, and she sit on me. And when she sit on me, I felt like, you ever get caught by a razor? That's how I felt. Like, like a razor cut me. And then all you see is blood. I run home, never look back, and that was the most embarrassing moment for me. I never even talked back to the girl. You know? Um, lately, I learned that I lost my, my virginity then. <laughs> so that was the most embarrassing sex for me. Chill activity. Okay, well, to the young lady that took Marlon's virginity, if you're out there, please reach out to him right now. Thank you. <laughs> if Venezuela decided to end all aggressions against Guyana, but you have to choose five Guyanese to send, which five Guyanese you will send? Which five Guyanese I will send? The first one I'm sending is my ex. Your ex? Yeah. She got a name? Kali, 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 first name. The first, don't, don't call last name. Kali, first name. No, I want Kali first name. I'm All right, good. Your ex. Kali last. I'm Kali last name. You want Kali last name? You sure? No, I want Kali no name. I'm just give the, I'm just give the, I'm just give the initial of the name. I'm just give the initial. You give the initial. A R. A -R. Big up A R. You the first person to go to Venezuela next. Right. I got one my friend. Who, who betray me. Right? Your friend betray you. Yeah. This is the second one guy in. The friend with the friend that betray my friend. Right? I got one more cousin that don't like a star. She gotta go. One he cousin got to go. Right? And just pick two other random person and send. No, but why would you send three persons with the two random? Why would you send them to Venezuela? Give me a story. <laughs> Give me a story of, of give me the story of the ex. We want to hear the ex story. Give me the story of the ex. This is the story I gave you with my ex. They break my heart and I love them bad. Right? They break my heart, they cheat for me. I talk to them, they said I can stop. They cheat for me again, cheat for me, cheat for me, cheat for me. You mean cheat for you, cheat for me? It was a cheating sensation. Yeah. <laughs> Had like a long relationship, let me say like a five year, ten years. Oh, three years, eh? Yeah, but within the two years, a lot of cheating happened. Anyways, love that my ex is a soldier too. They say, said she, the ex is a soldier. Let's check a lot. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> you brave though, but choosing a soldier. You know what I mean? Uh, for your woman. Um, I want to ask you another question. We out here on the sea walls right now, and. If the world is going to end tonight and you stuck with one option, the option is you either have a delicious meal or sex. Which one you'll choose? Well, you don't hungry when you're dead. The song said, give me one more joke in before me sleep because man, I'm dead sudden. So I can choose sex. My me know the song, my, I'm a big DJ. And I never, what's the name of the song? Give me one more joke in before me sleep because man, I'm dead sudden. It's one of them one man band sing it man. It's a one man band. I tell you, I gotta go check up the one man band because that is bad. Give me one. Say, say the lyrics again. Give me one more joke in before me sleep. Cause man a dead sudden. So you definitely choose a sex. I choose a sex. Yeah, yeah but. I can dead, I can choose my sex. Enjoy myself for the last, you know. Lash it up nice. Enjoy yourself. Bop, bop, bop. And I, I, I totally agree with you because. From the minute you say, from the minute I hear sex, I is like I hear in Marlon in the background, you know what I mean? Yeah, food. Sex, is me, sex is me first name. Sex is your first name? First name. You're supposed to be out in your head with, 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 with this girl with cheat upon you and you. This girl cheat upon you and you taking it over and over. No, you know what's happening sometimes? You just fall in, you just fall in love with people, you just fall deeply in love. And you don't want to hoard them. Even though the hoard thing, you don't want to hoard them. And I feel I believe you's a cheater, you know. I believe she did doing the same thing you did doing. No man, no, I don't I don't get blue. You don't get blue. I'm a faithful servant. Bye. You just go to church. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I know, I know. Church people is always be, you know, mean humble and in the car now. But you know what I mean? But respect being the fact that you're a church person but still walking at a, a bar, you know what I mean? Giving alcohol. You're bluffing me. No man. Everybody got different professions in life. 
and that's my profession. I got one more question I want to ask you. What is the most embarrassing sexual experience you've ever had? The most embarrassing sexual experience I had is, uh, let me see. Marcel, let me, the Marcel, let me see. Like you had a lot of sexual embarrassment. In life. Sexual, a lot of sexual embarrassment. It's a while back when I was much more younger, right? Being honest. Uh, I had a threesome, right? <laughs> and um, within this threesome, it was two girls, right? I mean, right? And one of them was on the, on, you know, the front. So, when on the front, yeah. And the one up on the front now. All I feel is the next one, she go down from the back, right? Wait a minute. I was stunned to embarrass. We mean she go down on the back. Hey, last stand, last stand up. He's a tall man, right? He's a short man. I got, we mean she go down on the back. On the beauty body. Say this is two women. Let me get this, let me get this correct. Let me get this correct. Street confession. The man said the girl went TBT. I, I don't understand. Wait. Wish I had a lowly or something? No, 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 it's your tongue. Oh, she whistled the BT. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Yeah, buddy. And you felt awkward, but that yeah. was embarrassing for you. Yeah, yeah, it felt bad. It, you know, because it's not something you're accustomed to. It's like... <laughs> and after she whistled, you know what I mean? And how you felt after that? I said, well, if she wanted with me now, nah, so I left me shake. Do we want? But just know I did I tell she, well, I said just know me going no point. You guy you I did ask you. You choose to do that. Yeah. <laughs> he he just receive it. it you know he, we call it back wheel at all. <laughs> you know the Venezuela story going on and going, you know, me don't want to take piece of the country or three quarter. It's three quarter or two quarter. They want to take almost all as far as I'm concerned. All they want. So here what? If Venezuela decided, right, to end all aggression against Guyana, but you have to send five Guyanese, who you will send? The first one, most obvious, you have to send critics. And from the time you're sending critics, you got to send all these radio personnel, people like Gardo Mosley and all these people. This two you call so. This two you call so. Magnum. Magnum tree. Magnum. 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 Gardo Mosley. Mosley. Let me see where else we got. There's three we got so far. We got to send Doggy to with Doggy. going to work them nice. Doggy, so there's four. And Allison. And Allison. I thought you would say Kunshi. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now, why you would send these five persons? From what I know from these five people, these people is very warish people. So I feel like they would represent they people. They would represent them. Yeah, they would represent So you're sending Sheer Warriors? Yeah, Bay Warriors we send out to events. Alright. The next question I want to ask you is, if the world is going to end tonight and you have, you live with one option, either you have a favorite meal or sex, which one you will choose? Well, I would choose sex right away because it's your last, last thing you do on the earth. It makes sense to eat because you're going to die and your belly going to fall with a dead body with a full belly. So I would choose. What's well, the food? Well, dead body. Like, like a guy told me um, he want to use, he can use chong bin. When, when they're doing all the top scene, everything is shit, show me coming out. But I, I, I would agree with you though. Sex, sex would be good for me. Yeah, me too. Me too, me too. A good enjoyment, you got somewhere. Where, where, where you would go now? I would go. Well, outdoors, because the world don't end there. It's best to do it outdoors. Now. Outdoors, like the Sea Walls. Yeah, Sea Walls. Breezy Hotel. Breezy Hotel, this is the best place to go. I heard that, I heard they call it the Breezy Hotel. Somebody said the big window. Yeah, they're right out there, right out there. The most embarrassing sex you've ever had? Uh, I once said I ever had no embarrassing sex, but I remember this one embarrassing time when I went out. And I guess a junk, I went down to this girl. And I went through when I saw her, then I remember like, Certain things I went doing with this girl, like I wouldn't even do it if I went so because of the kissing up the girl and she neck going not real aggressive, you know. But well, kissing up the neck is not. No, but you know when you're drunk and you're going on, you're going on too much and the girl start running from you. What's you know, what's when you when you mention drunk, me whole brain went somewhere else. Yeah, when you you I went doing with she when I went drunk. Everything I could think about, but you said just kissing the neck. What else? Feel up all kind of thing where you don't, I don't even know the girl because it's somebody friend that wrote oh, Feeling up is alright, kissing up in the neck is alright. Yeah, remember when, when you catch back yourself when you're eating, when, when, when the girl run away from me because all these things I went doing shit. 
It's me, it's me. You really doing this, girl, man? Like, like, you know me, kiss of the pattern thing. Nah, nah, nah. We don't do them thing now, so no more. We don't do them thing no more. You don't do it no more. So you did it before. No more. We keep the fan next time. We keep the fan. <laughs> We a run road, we a run road Guyanese man, them a run road Jamaican man, them a run road Caribbean bad man, them a run road